Hello everyone, welcome to my video. If you're watching this, you're probably an English student. But do you study any other subjects? What subject do you like? Is it English or something else? By the end of this video, you should be able to talk about school subjects. So the first subject is English literature. We study English literature every day at 3 p.m. In English literature, we read books from the past and we talk about them. Often we will write essays about them as well. I enjoy English literature because it helps me to think more deeply about life and about history. Geography. Studying geography helps us learn about our world. You can see in the picture on the left, we have a globe. A globe is a map which is made into a circle. Now, I like geography because it leads to a lot of interesting conversations. I like to go online and find geography quizzes and learn fun facts about geography. For example, which country has the tallest mountain? Where is the biggest lake? What are all the different oceans? I find all of this very fun and interesting. History. Some people say that history repeats itself, but I tend to think that it rhymes. Now, learning about history is learning about the things that came before us. And in my opinion, this is incredibly valuable. Math. Although I was never good at math, I find it very interesting. So were you good at math? Sometimes we say that there are math people and there are art people. <laughs> I'm more of an artist, although I find math fascinating. If I'm listening to a smart person talk about math, I always feel very engaged. Music. In my opinion, music should be a mandatory school subject. Why is that? Well, music can teach you so many new skills. It can teach you hand-eye coordination. It can teach you social skills. It can improve your cognitive abilities. And it is good for your soul. Phys ed. Physical education is essential for healthy development. Sometimes we call phys ed gym. Do you like gym class? In gym class, we play basketball, we run, we stretch, and we learn about our bodies. Chemistry. Chemistry class is at 4.30 p.m. on Saturdays. In the picture on the left, you can see beakers. Beakers are like cups, but they hold chemicals. And on the right, we see the periodic table of elements. This kind of stuff I'm not very familiar with. So if you know more about chemistry, maybe you can teach me. Biology. Studying biology helps us learn about life on Earth. You might like biology if you're interested in plants, animals, and nature. I'm really interested in these things, so I do enjoy biology. Physics. Physics is the study of the universe. So we can see in the picture, on the left, a bunch of equations, and on the right, we can see Albert Einstein, a famous physicist. Do you know any other famous physicists? Astronomy. I like to use a telescope when I study astronomy. Go outside in the middle of the night, set up your telescope, and you can look at the stars. You can also study the planets and the moon and the sun. Philosophy. If you see a wise person in the city square sitting like this, he must be studying philosophy. Philosophy is the study of wisdom. The word is quite interesting. It comes from ancient Greece. Philo means love and Sophia means wisdom. 
So philosophia became philosophy, the study of wisdom. Art. Studying art can improve one's ability to express themselves. I love art. I appreciate art. I'm not a very good painter, though. These paintings in the back, my girlfriend did those. Politics. Politics is an important subject for develop developing minds. Excuse me. Why is it important? Well, it can teach people about the society where they live, and it also helps people to express their opinions, public speaking, debate. This is all some skills you can learn by studying politics. Psychology. Psychology can help us understand our minds. The mind is complicated. We all have problems and a lot of feelings and emotions. So that's what psychology helps us with. On the left, we can see a magnifying glass. And on the right, we can see a brain. Do you like to study psychology? And computer science. Nowadays, computer science is one of the most practical subjects. It seems that in this economy, knowing about computer science is a real advantage. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more vocabulary uh, videos. And let me know in the comments what are your favorite subjects and which subjects you maybe not like. All right, good luck studying.